G'day folks, Cortezarino here. Today I'm going to show you how to build this adjustable pulse extender. Now, the great thing about this is, unlike the Etho Hopper Timer, this one's silent. And it's also really, really compact. It's uh, so compact, actually, I don't think you'll need a tutorial for this. It, uh, a screenshot would probably do the trick, but that wouldn't be much of a video. So I'm going to show you how to build this and explain how it works. So as I said, this is an adjustable pulse extender. So the length of the pulse is determined by how many items you have here in the hopper. So I'll just put a redstone lamp right there because this torch is our output and this block is our input. So when I press the button, the lamp will turn on for a short amount of time at the moment because I've only got 15 blocks in there. But just add more blocks and the pulse lengthens. So the way this works is here we've got two hoppers feeding into each other, but the items can't leave this hopper at the moment because that hopper's being powered by this block right here. So items can enter it, but they can't leave. Now when I push the button, this torch turns off. So the dust turns off, and then this torch turns on, powering this hopper instead. So all of these items will trickle into the hopper right beside it, and they'll stay there. Now when I push the button and this torch turns off, it stays off because as soon as this dust becomes unpowered, the dust that's leading into the side of this comparator, this comparator is able to turn on and read the items in that hopper there and it will keep this block powered and keep that torch turned off until all of these items have trickled into the hopper right beside it. Now as soon as this hopper is empty, the comparator will turn off, this torch will turn on, and it'll be reset to, as you see it right now, and all the items will trickle back into this hopper. There is, however, one limitation to this. You saw I had 15 items in here. Uh, you can stock it right up with items, but you do not want to fill the thing all the way up. So at the moment, I've got five stacks, but I'm missing one item off this last stack, that's as far as you can go, because if you put in another one, then the signal this comparator's reading is greater than this dust, and everything goes bonkers, so don't do that. So this is how to build it, guys. We'll start with our input block. I'm just going to put a button on top, but you might be sending a signal in with a repeater or something like that. Then we'll place a comparator facing into that block. Then I'll place a hopper down temporarily, feed a hopper into that, break this one, and feed this hopper into that hopper. Then we'll place a torch on the side of that block, a block right there, a torch right there, and dust there and there, and you're done, guys. Just put however many blocks you want in there, and you're finished. So leave a like, guys, if this video helped you out. Cheers. I'm Cortezarino. See you later.